Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the Youngstown State Dynasty on College Football Rebate. Today, we're taking on the 3-3 three three Akron Zips. C's across the board, just like us. We have a better defensive rating. They have a better offensive rating. However, YSU is beating them in all statistical categories besides rushing offense, and that's only a 29-yard difference. And Lee Corso is going with the Penguins. And on the recruiting side of things, we have five prospects visiting this week, including Aaron Walters, Grant Amos, Corey Williams, Corey Lewis, and Xavier Smith. And for the bonus goals, we're going to need to pass for over 250 yards and rush for 100 as well as win. We're going to need four swatted passes, two interceptions for Xavier Smith. Checking out the standings, Alabama's number one along with Michigan, USC, Texas, Clemson running out the top five. We are currently third place in the Eastern MAC Conference with Central Michigan and Bowling Green ahead of us. Western Michigan and Ball State are both four and two. Without further ado, let's head out to Youngstown, Ohio. And for our visiting prospect goals, we need to rush for over 100 yards, pass for over 250, have four spotted passes, and two interceptions. First play of the game, Mitch Davidson with the play fake. He's going to find Max Tomzak on the slant. He does the juke and gets 17 yards on the play. On the ensuing play, Mitch Davidson with the play fake. He's going to roll right, throw. He's going to find Bryce Oliver, who's wide open. He breaks the tackle, heads up field. He jukes the defender, and he is running toward the end zone for a touchdown bryce oliver 56 yards and a fast start for ysu akron goes three and out mitch davison pitches it to tyshawn king on the option and he heads up to the left side of the field and he has a defender in front of him he's gonna juke him and he has the end zone now in front of him tyshawn king three defenders chasing him but he's gonna get in the end zone 70 yard touchdown and ysu going two for two on their first two drives a quick 14 nothing lead for Youngstown State. Third and six, Mitch Davidson back to pass. He throws for the end zone to Bryce Oliver, but it's going to be overthrown. Fourth down and six. YSU is going for it on fourth and six. Mitch Davidson throws. He'll find Max Tomzak for the first down, 10 yards on the play. Second and eight, Davidson will find Jake Benio, the tight end. He'll leap into the end zone for the touchdown. YSU now up 21 nothing on Akron. First and 10, Akron trying to get some momentum going. Irons is going to find Walker on the play. 23 yards for Miles Walker. First down now for Akron. Ensuing play, Irons is going to go back to pass. He's going to scramble. He's going to head up the right side of the field. He breaks a tackle from Devin Johnson and another tackle. DJ Augustin finally gets the stop. Two broken tackles for the quarterback. DJ Irons, 21 yards on the play. Akron now moving the ball against this YSU defense. Fourth and inches, Akron in the Wildcat offense, and Anderson's going to keep the ball head up field. He breaks a tackle. Nine yards on a play for Drake Anderson. Akron converts in fourth down. That's the end of the first quarter. Youngstown stayed up 21-0 over Akron in this in-state rivalry game. Second and one, Akron in the red zone for the first time in this game, looking to get some points on the board. DJ Irons is going to hand it off to Anderson. He's going to get away from a tackle. Nine yards on the play for Drake Anderson. First and goal for Akron at the one. First and goal, DJ Irons is going to keep it himself, and he gets into the end zone rather easily. Two yards on the play. Akron finally on the board against YSU. Second and 13, hand off to Tyshawn King. Big hole up the middle, and he's going to take advantage of it. Tyshawn King gets the first down and more. 32 yards on the play. 100 yards on the day for Tyshawn King. 36 yards on 8 carries, 13.3 yards per carry. Second and 12, Davidson back to pass. He looks, he'll throw, and he'll find C.J. Charleston in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. In between two defenders, Mitch Davidson, 10 of 12, 156 yards, and three touchdowns. YSU up 28-7 here in the second quarter. Late second quarter, Mitch Davidson throws the end zone, but it'll be picked off by Durant. Akron forces the turnover. YSU foolishly decides to throw it late with a big lead, and it bites him in the ass. Nothing would come of the turnover as we head into halftime. YSU up 28-7 over Akron. Reese Davis and David Pollock here, completely locked in on that first half. It's all about perspective. Everybody who loves offense loved that first half. Lots of big plays, explosive plays. Offense has really got into the rhythm. But then there's the responsible opposing view, finding all the things that went wrong on the defensive side. 
Yeah, it, it's twofold. You know, there's an offense and there's a defense. And at some point, I'm glad, you, guys, I'm glad you noticed that. Yeah, well, I didn't notice it in the first half, but <laughs> I so wanted one side in the I'd, first half. I'd like to notice more of it in the second half. And, and it, it's as simple. When, when a wide receiver catches a slant at seven yards and takes it 70, there's a problem. Somebody needs to hit the guy. Somebody needs to be a little bit physical. Somebody needs to be willing to tackle the guy and bring him to the ground. Too many missed tackles, too many explosive plays. And if you play defense like that, you should probably look in behind and say, I think I'm going to get the other guy in because he's got to be better than this guy to start. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with you. Akron goes three and up to start the second half. YSG has been marching down the field. Third and four, Mitch Davidson finds Bryce Oliver. He'll break a tackle 27 yards on the play. First and 10, YSG. Third and three, Mitch Davidson hands off to Dre Rushton. However, get tackled behind the line. Loss of yard. YSG will take the field goal and go up 31-7. And that's where we'll be at the end of the third quarter. Youngstown stayed up 31-7 over Akron. Third and two, Mitch Davidson back to the pass. He's looking, he's going to find Max Tomzak. He makes the catch and he's heading up the field and he's going to get tackled, but there is a flag. It will be clipping against YSU. YSU will get the penalty on third down, which will negate it. Dre rushing 15 yards. YSU is going to have to repeat their third down. It will now be third and seven. YSU is five for seven on third downs thus far. Davison changing the play at the line. It is third and seven. Davison back to pass. He looks, he throws to the right side, and he has Bryce Oliver in triple coverage, quadruple coverage, and he still comes down with the catch. What a play for Bryce Oliver, and that's going to be a first down for YSU. Four catches, 108 yards, and one touchdown on the day so far for Bryce Oliver. First and 10, YSU. Two plays later, Mitch Davidson back to pass. He rainbows it to the right side of the end zone, and CJ Charleston makes the catch for the touchdown. 12 yard touchdown reception. Mitch Davidson now 19 of 26, 269 yards, four touchdowns, and one interception. YSU now goes up 38 to 7 over Akron, pending the extra point. Late in the fourth quarter, Anderson is going to take the handoff from Irons, and he's going to head up the left side. He's going to be in the end zone for the three yard touchdown run. Akron. It's another touchdown on the board. However, they are still down 24 points. It's going to be too little, too late for Akron. Mitch Davison is back to pass for some reason. He's going to throw it to Bryce Oliver, who makes the catch, but he's going to fumble the ball, and Akron's going to pick it up. YSU, for some reason, throwing the ball instead of draining out the clock, and it's going to cost him. Actually, it's going to be an interception for Mitch Davidson, now his second on the day. As Bryce Oliver could not hang on, couldn't complete the catch, and it's going to go to Akron as an interception and a foolish mistake by YSU late in this game. That mistake would prove costly for YSU as while well. simulating, Akron put another touchdown on the board. Akron will try for the onside kick. It's gonna be recovered by Alex Howard from YSU. Victory formation as Mitch Davidson will take the kneel and Youngstown State's gonna get the victory 38 to 20 over Akron. YSU now improves to five and one on the year, two and zero in conference play and what has been a surprising start so far for Youngstown State. Their first season in the FBS as members of the MAC Conference. Mitch Davison, 269 yards passing, four touchdowns, also had the two interceptions. However, that wasn't enough to stop YSU from getting the victory over their in-state rival Akron. Mitch Davison had a solid day, 19 of 28, 269 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions. Tyshawn King had eight carries for 106 yards and a touchdown, while Dre rushed in the backup at 13 carries for 68 yards. Tyshawn King with the longest rush of 70 yards. Bryce Oliver had five catches, 116 yards, and a touchdown, while CJ Charleston had six catches, 81 yards, two touchdowns. Jake Benio also caught a touchdown pass in the game. Max Tomzak had 57 yards on five catches. And defensively, DeMarco Augustin and Dominic Julius each had a pass deflection completing all of our prospect goals for this game. Looking at the game stats, YSU wins 38 to 20. Akron had 17 first downs to YSU 16. YSU had 453 total yards of offense, 184 yards rushing, 269 yards passing. Third down conversions, YSU six of nine and Akron four of 12. The main reason why they couldn't stay in this game, 33% on third down. However, when Akron was in the red zone, they were three for three. We had the two turnovers with the two interceptions, and YSU led an overall time of possession, 1914 to 1246. A much needed win as YSU is buzzing following a 38-20 victory over Akron. We are 5-1 now, thanks to that last win over Akron. A very Booger McFarland-like response there from the AD. 
we have finally done it boys we have our first two recruits of the season strong safety xavier smith at a 72 overall and center Corey lewis at a 65 overall running back Corey williams committed to florida so that sucks but at least we have xavier smith and Corey lewis xavier smith is a very intriguing player with his attributes i could see him playing both safety and perhaps even running back I'm leaning towards putting him more on the offensive side of the ball rather than defense. It'll be interesting to see how his rating fluctuates, whether he's on offense or defense. So I'm really looking forward to this player, and I'm really glad that we have him. And for Corey Lewis, he's your run-of-the-mill offensive lineman. Has 72 pass block, 72 run blocking, 68 impact blocking. So he's not terrible, and he can develop into a serviceable player. I just don't think we're going to get some great player out of him. With that being said, welcome to the team, Corey. Our next game is against the 0-7 Buffalo Bulls who are pretty horrible across the board statistically, which is why they are 0-7. Also is the reason why Lee Corso is picking us to win this game. However, I did make a mistake while initially creating this dynasty. If you remember, I said I used the dynasty tool to move some teams around, and that turned out to be a mistake. When you swap teams with the dynasty tool, it swaps over every asset the team has other than their field. For whatever reason, I didn't think that rule applied to the built-in teams just for the FCS teams, but it does, and honestly, I don't know why I didn't think of that while swapping a team like Buffalo out for Central Michigan. I really only did it to customize my conference schedule a bit, and if I remember correctly, I also swapped out Georgia Southern with another team. I think it was Eastern Michigan. Pretty much, I didn't want to face Central, Eastern, or Western Michigan. I kind of wanted to move them out of the MAC conference, which is something I'll probably do in the offseason, but maybe I'll just keep them around. And playing a team with a different field really bothers me, so what I did was I closed the game out. I used the Dynasty tool to swap Central Michigan back in. However, not really thinking clearly, Central Michigan, who was actually one of the leading teams in our conference, took over Buffalo's 0-7 record. So I decided to swap Buffalo back in and simulate the game, which we won 21-19. Again, I just didn't want to play a team that was playing on a different field. So I figured let's just simulate and move on to week nine where we take on Eastern Michigan. Thankfully, that's a home game, so I don't have to worry about them having the wrong field. But before we take on Eastern Michigan, we got some big news. Brent Amos and Nathan Jox have committed to YSU. Nathan Jox is 67 overall defensive tackle, and Brent Amos, 70 overall wide receiver, one of the best receivers in the entire recruiting class. Really excited to have both these guys on our team. Up next, we take on Eastern Michigan, who is 1 and 6 on the year. As of right now, Youngstown State is 6 and 1, only behind Bowling Green, who is undefeated. Eastern Michigan, 1 and 6. The only team who is worse is Buffalo, who we just defeated. They are now 0-8. Lee Corso picking YSU yet again, and for obvious reasons, YSU has more points per game, better total offense, better passing offense, rushing defense, and pass defense. Rating-wise, it sees across the board. However, YSU handles Eastern Michigan in almost every statistical category. The only one that they have better than us is rushing offense, and that's only by 11 yards. Uniform-wise, I'm just going to go with the red jersey, black pants. I can't really change my alternates without the game locking up and freezing on me. I think it's a mix match issue, but I don't know how to fix that, so it's something I gotta deal with, unfortunately. I'm gonna go with the green pants for Eastern Michigan. We have two prospects visiting for this game, athlete Josh Andrews and guard Adam Hall. We have four swine passes and two interceptions for Josh Andrews, and we need to pass for over 250 yards and rush for over 100 yards for Adam Hall. Our top three players are all on a hot streak, Marcus Hooker, Bryce Oliver, and Mitch Davidson. And we expect another good game out of those guys today. Stanbaugh Stadium in Youngstown, Ohio for this Mac Conference game against Eastern Michigan. ISU will get the ball first. Max Tomzak on the return. He has blocks in front of him. Heads up to the right side of the field. Jukes is going to get tackled after a gain of 45 yards on the return. Mitch Davison is our impact player of the game. 11 of 20, 115 yards, two touchdowns in the game last week. However, struggling on the first drive of the game this week, third and one, Tyshawn Kings will get stuffed for no gain. Fourth down coming up, the Penguins decide to go for it, and Mitch Davidson throws an interception, and that's TJ Peavy of Eastern Michigan on the pick. Early turnover for YSU. And on the 10th play of the ensuing drive, Austin Smith is going to be sacked by Penguins cornerback Garen Davis. Now, fourth down, they'll take the three points. YSU ball, first and 10, and Mitch Davidson proving why he's an impact player with a 55-yard bomb to Bryce Oliver. Mitch Davidson redeems himself of the early interception, and YSU now goes up by seven, pending the extra point. Third and seven in the red zone, Mitch Davidson throws to the end zone and finds Max Tomzak, seven-yard touchdown. 
by a shootout goes up 14 to 3 and the penguins yet again with another hot start here in conference play late second quarter third seven mitch davidson heaves one to the end zone and bryce oliver comes down with it for the touchdown why she now goes up 21 to 3 davidson now 9 of 13 166 yards three touchdowns despite the one interception a very solid day for mitch davidson we also get a pair of touchdown runs from tyshawn king and dre rushton as YSU's miraculous season continues as they get a dominating victory over Eastern Michigan, 38-6. Bryce Oliver, 143 yards, two touchdowns. Youngstown State now 7-1 on the season, undefeated in conference play. For a team that was in the FCS division a year ago, now in the FBS at 7-1. An amazing story for YSU. Mitch Davidson was 15-21, 246 yards, three touchdowns. Had the one interception, Tyshawn King 107 yards on 22 carries with a rushing touchdown. Dre Rushton got it done as well, 87 yards on 13 carries. Also had a rushing touchdown, 6.6 .6 yards per carry for Dre Rushton. Bryce Oliver, six catches, 143 yards, two touchdowns. Longest of the day was 55 yards. An outstanding game for Mitch Davidson, Bryce Oliver, King, Rushton, and the entire Youngstown State football team. Youngstown State at 7-1 has won six consecutive games. We've earned an upgrade for our head coach, Bob Stoops. We're going to unlock the safety factor, which will give us a 5% increase of instant commit when you offer a scholarship to a recruit, which will give us a 5% chance of an instant commit when you offer a scholarship. And we have another recruit. I think that's our fifth recruit, Aaron Walters, 65 overall defensive tackle. Welcome to the team. With Corey Lewis, Xavier Smith, Nathan Jox, Brent Amos, and Aaron Walters, that is five solid recruits coming to YSU next season. Next week, we take on Georgia Southern, who's looking to end our winning streak at six games. But that's going to do it for this video. I know we went through a lot of games, and quite honestly, I'm probably going to do that format for the next video as well. Go through the games pretty quickly just to get to the end of the season. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn that post notification bell on, so you don't miss out on more GCSN content. My name is Gaming Cube. You're watching Gaming Cube Sports Network. And I'll catch you on the next one. Much love. Take care. Peace.